So, Trumps, tramways and stuff. Yes. You put it as tramway, uh, ugly... Ugly duckling <laughs> uh, becomes a swan. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, if it's translated in Russia. Gat Kyutyonok. Gat Kyutyonok. It becomes a lebedim, maybe. Lebedim, yes. For Anderson, right? Yes. Ну вот, в, в России сейчас все говорят, что трамвай надо убрать, потому что он, вот, например, в Омск, Омске, в котором мы смотрим, я сегодня нашел информацию, трамвай там ездит со скоростью 13 км в час, средняя скорость трамвая. Да. И он очень ну, старый. И поэтому все говорят, что надо его убрать, и, в общем, не будет трамвая, и черт с ним. И так много где, я так понимаю. Да? It's, it's happening in many places. Well, it, it happened... Let Just me... one second to say that we can understand Russian. Да, я понимаю. Понимаю, понимаю, это я не просто так. Да. Но говорим по-английски. So we speak English. Мы uh, говорим по-английски, я не могу много говорить по-русски, только mm -hmm. немножко я понимаю так. Mm -hmm. um, okay. um, what happened with the urban transportation? First of all, tramway was the first electric, that means motor-powered vehicle, not animal-drawn vehicle. Mm -hmm. So when electric tramway came in 1890, At once we could go from horse-drawn vehicles, which go five or seven kilometers per hour, <laughs> to the electric one, which goes 20, 30, sometimes 60 kilometers per mm. hour. In Omsk it goes 13. Well, <laughs> in the city, in yeah. the city that depends on congestion. No, it's, it's separated. It's separated, it's not congestion. Separated so why does light. it go so slowly? Because it's old. It's old and the trucks are old and the... Well, if you don't maintain, of course, yes, yes. If, yeah. uh, if you have flat tires in your car, you will also go five kilometers per hour and destroy the tires more. Yeah, yeah this was perfect. Yeah, but that is... Uh, let me say this. Tramway, tramway was, until about 1930s, the main transportation in city, and tramway was uh, comfortable, large vehicles, high speed, and so on. In 1935, in the United States, they said we should modernize the tramway, and they designed an entirely new model, so-called PCC car, or PCC. Mm -hmm. uh, and that one had modern, smooth acceleration, very quiet, uh, uh, very comfortable, and so on. Um, However, when the automobile came, then congestion started. And in congestion, if you do nothing, tramways then slow down by all kinds of vehicles and pedestrians and, and, and parking cars and so on. Uh, buses became, began to come and trolley buses began to come. Uh, in some lightly traveled lines, suburbs and so on, bus became more economical And uh, it was logical to change to buses which have, which can go to many streets and so on. They have so-called flexibility of route. However, uh, those who saw the immediate problems there, they thought that this is now, tramway is the problem in the city because it's so-called inflexible yeah. and it's fixed there. So if we change that to the bus, and pave the lanes for cars, we will have a bus that is flexible, that can change its, its lanes in the city, in the, on the street, and, uh, and that there will be more capacity for cars. That is then what we talk about short-term view. Mm -hmm. This happened in many cities and in entire countries. Uh, in Great Britain, we had many tramways. They eliminated them all except in one city. In the United States, they eliminated all except about a dozen cities which have tramways in the tunnels mm -hmm. where buses cannot go. Mm -hmm. uh, 
France abandoned, France never modernized the tramways. They had fairly old tramways through World War II, and after World War II, they were really noisy and slow and so on. However, there was some people who looked at longer range. They noticed that this concept of flexibility is something very deceptive. We like sometimes flexibility in changing some things, but we in many ways want something opposite to flexibility. That is that, is that you, have a, uh, you have a system which is not flexible but fixed. We know exactly where it is running. People very much like to recognize where transit lines are running and where the stops are and good signing at stations and stops and so on. So that uh, tramway, its tracks are considered by many people to be a great asset of public transportation. Mm -hmm. And that has proven so. They said, we want something that is not flexible, but the opposite of flexible means reliable, permanent, durable, efficient. Mm -hmm. Those are all good things. Plus, if it's on rails, what's the advantage of rails? One is much more smoother and more comfortable ride. The second one, we can use much larger vehicles. Mm -hmm. And then we can couple them into trains. And even tramway can have short trains of two or three vehicles. So that we greatly increase capacity. And this, that we should replace tramway by automobiles, it does not increase capacity, it drastically decreases capacity. It increases the number of cars, but our purpose is not to carry vehicles, our purpose is to carry people. And one tramway, uh, even a regular one just with four axles and so on, it carries as many people as 80 or 100 cars, mm -hmm. automobiles. Uh, if we have a train, Okay. It can carry as much as 250 automobiles. Obviously, in 250 in one train is vastly more efficient and higher capacity in the streets than putting those into small vehicles and having a huge number of them. Uh, tramway is also higher capacity and reliability and comfort than the buses. So, in some in some uh, countries. They said, just a minute, we don't want uh, transit vehicles mixed with traffic. We want it not flexible. We want it fixed and separated and visible and permanent. So they said, our main goal will be to separate tracks. So they systematically began to separate those tracks, either in the middle of the street, separate, separated by curbs, or it is... Uh, sometimes in the parks, sometimes on the side of the street, sometimes um, uh, with short tunnels, sometimes with longer tunnels. But we put tramway in the tunnel and, uh, and it goes under one intersection and comes up, or it goes two, three kilometers and comes up and it can run then on rather low cost separated right away. How do you say right away? Close? Полоса, да, полоса. выделенная полоса. Полоса. Полоса, right. ну да, uh -huh. отдельная. So, uh, we define three types of полоса. One is uh, полоса... Полоса line. Okay. Uh, yes. Three types of right like of way. Lane, yeah, uh -huh. lane, right yeah. of way. Uh -huh. uh, the category C, uh -huh. it could be ABV. Ну да. ABV, <laughs> That is mixed traffic. There is no separation, no reserve, reservation, no, mm -hmm. no advantage. Most of the buses the go like this. Most of the buses. Tramway, when it's in the mixed traffic, the is, same thing. it's mm -hmm. the same. Then we can separate simply with curbs and so on in the street. We can still cross it at intersection and so on, but it is longitudinally separated. Mm -hmm. So sometimes in wide avenues, it can go not 20 kilometers per hour, but 50 and 70. And then finally, we can also fully separate our policy. 
mm -hmm. uh, which is the case with the metro. But mm -hmm. with, with tramway, we can also separate for one kilometer or five kilometers. We have now in, in Denver a light rail system, which I'll define in a minute, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, has a 10 kilometer long section without any intersection. Mm -hmm. And then it goes in the street uh, in, in a pedestrian area and goes to uh, Palasa Categoria B. Mm -hmm. B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, these cities mostly. So, uh, oh, one second about the category B. Uh, technologically, uh, for example, if you have road, uh, like three uh, lanes. lanes of cars and here and three lanes of cars here, and you want to make a separate tramway lane here, where, where do you put it? You put it in the middle or in you middle. put it in the, in the sides? On the other Sometimes, side if the side and there is a park and so on, you can use that. There are cases where mm -hmm. you can use it. But usually the best is in the middle, because then uh, if you put it next to the trottoir, to mm -hmm. the si trottoir. sidewalk, mm -hmm. right? then you, it goes next to pedestrians. Mm -hmm. It's not pleasant. You mm -hmm. don't put fast vehicles there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's in the middle. Mm -hmm. And now you see, when we are not sometimes separating buses, after many years we put bus lanes along the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Now we found that that should be also in the middle. Mm -hmm. Now the we're trying with buses to go back to everything that was found very efficient with tramway. Mm -hmm. So the countries like like Germany and and Denmark and Sweden and and Netherlands and Austria and Switzerland uh, and uh, uh, to some extent Melbourne and some cities around the world and in many Russian cities actually. Uh, St. Petersburg, you have many tracks which are separate in the median. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, you start putting that in the median, you can increase the speed, you increase reliability. At the signals, uh, it has to wait for the signal, but you can activate the signal. So you, you can also make it so that when it comes, the delay is That's minimal, mm -hmm, it goes mm -hmm. right through. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you go for a short underpass mm -hmm. and comes up again. And so these tramways became, and then the vehicles became longer, articulated. Instead of 14 meters long, they became 23 meters long, mm -hmm. with three sections uh, 30 meters long. Mm -hmm. Now we have them up to seven sections, 50 meters long, mm -hmm. and it's continuous inside. Very high capacity, very high comfort. It's very quiet, uh, and it, it runs yeah. in. in in Russia. green areas and, and in, uh, then it re-entered pedestrian mm -hmm. zones. In Russia we have a law that the tr tramway can't be closer than 20 met meters to building because of vibration. I see, <laughs> I see. Well, there are some laws that are... Uh, all laws actually <laughs> can be examined if there are changes. So if that law was made in 1925, that was an excellent law. But today it's totally misplaced. Right? Totally misplaced. Now it's a train, for, for example, 20 minutes from here, 20 meters from here. And it's a six-car train going six train. 80 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and we're nothing shaking and we can, here. And we can talk. Yes. We continue to talk and it's yes. fine. Yes. yes, nothing is shaking. Uh -huh. That's right. Really, uh, tramway that's modernized and on good rails and so on it's absolutely absolute optimum in with respect to noise and vibration we put it sometimes in pedestrian zones mm -hmm. and we are sometimes even afraid that yeah. it's too and quiet for pedestrians not sure just it's another train exactly 20 meters from the house and the house is okay in the so it's a good right. place to live, right? And uh, that's, no, right. that's right. Yeah. Okay. So. And this is a train is much much bigger and heavier than, than uh, tramway. Uh, we are sometimes worried in pedestrian zones if it's too quiet. You know, <laughs> pedestrians are pedestrians <laughs> really? are crossing and so on, and <laughs> they don't know this is coming. We don't want to be completely without any sound. <laughs> Okay. These improvements of Palasa mm -hmm. and vehicles and 
and uh, improvements at intersections and good stations with many doors, fast opening many doors, boarding and lighting. It becomes as efficient to board as metro. Mm -hmm. it, it became, the system became much more similar to metro than to the old tramway. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, country after country, uh, including the United States, we said we don't want to call that tramway or in American language, streetcar. Streetcar. <laughs> streetcar. That's not a streetcar anymore. It's That's something else. Right. So we call it light rail transit. We don't have a word. I need to invent a word for this. Well, uh, Lehki Metro. Lehki Metro. Uh, well, no, but still, people consider it as something. Uh, in Moscow, we have light, light Lehki Metro. Mm -hmm. Butova. Butova is part, part, long, but it's it's still it's uh, it's like a metro train. It's like metro, and, yeah. and slightly smaller. Yeah, like yeah, that. it's it's not considered as a as a light rail here. I know in uh, in Beijing they said, oh, this is light rail line, <laughs> and that light rail line is a pure metro, full size metro, but it's above ground, and then they call yeah, it light, it's exactly light rail. This is exactly Which what's is happening in Buso. Incorrect. It's not mm -hmm. important. Is it below ground, above ground? It's mm -hmm. important. Is it separated or not? and mm -hmm. how long is the train and can it also go in the city mm -hmm. city pedestrian areas and so on. So we have mm -hmm. had these light rail transit was really developed in excellent manner in uh, about 30 cities in Germany and in another 50 cities throughout Europe and then uh, then the countries which totally eliminated and called tramway old-fashioned, noisy, inefficient, what you call it now in Russia. <laughs> Not me, but they, yeah, people in Russia, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, uh, they really began, began to notice that many, many cities have buses on streets which are cheap, flexible, under mm. quotes, stop everywhere, but they're slow, unattractive, people will not leave cars to, to take those buses and so on. If you want to improve, you must build metro, which costs you hundreds of millions and takes decades to build. Mm -hmm. So they say, we need something that is much better than that bus and much lower investment than metro. And that is exactly where light rail transit is. So light rail transit or LRT or Lehki metro, mm -hmm. uh, has been built now in the since 1980s in about 100 cities in Europe and and United States. United States, in addition to those 10 old systems that survived and got modernized, uh, has another 15 cities or so which built entirely new light rail transit. Uh, the same thing happened in France and in Spain and in Britain. Although in Britain they still have many very strong highway interests and they mm. have obstacles there. So they have uh, about maybe eight systems now new. But France and Spain, they're building in every city from 150,000 up, they're mm -hmm. building new uh, light rail. Mm -hmm. So there is uh, Montpellier, there is uh, Nantes, there is uh, Valencia in Spain, mm -hmm. and all over the place mm -hmm. that's going on. Interestingly, so we, we mentioned that sometimes, that this was, tramway was treated as an ugly duckling, really, mm -hmm. very unattractive, and, uh, and everything was described that it's old-fashioned, superseded, and so on. Now, it comes the same basic technology, but greatly improved by design, by track separation and by vehicles and by operation signals also signals and uh, uh, it becomes a vehicle that is extremely attractive and uh, i should tell you this as a fact that there are several cities in the united states including denver portland st louis Port, uh, the san diego salt lake city and so on their mayors when they go to other cities which are considering what to do about transportation, they give, they are giving lectures. We voted for those funds, we planned them, we've built that. 
we have now excellent public transport, but we have much more than that. We changed the entire city, the character of the city changed when we brought light rail transit. What about buses? Did you neglect the buses? Well, no, because whenever we build the rail system, is it metro or light rail metro, light rail transit, we build that with, in, with uh, integration with other modes. And buses become very important feeders. They come from many, many lines every 10, 20 minutes mm -hmm. to the line of rail, which goes every five minutes. Um, so that in some cities, we changed the main lines, uh, bus by rail and most of the passengers changed from bus to rail, so you think of the buses have fewer passengers. The rail attracts so many more passengers that even the remaining bus lines sometimes carry more passengers than before because we attracted a huge number of people from cars, mm -hmm. from cars, which we could not do, could never do by buses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, an interesting thing is that, so we have this swan now, really, mm -hmm. light rail, going into in, in hundreds uh, in dozens of cities and over 100 new ones in the last 30 years uh, we are all looking when will Russia and other ex-Soviet countries discover this mode <laughs> because they are still under the old impression which is totally out of date and they should catch up and see how this swan is the different thing and if you don't destroy the tracks of the old system, it's much easier to build it into the swan system, the mm -hmm. light rail transit, mm -hmm. than if you destroy and then you have to go and build again, it'll cost you much more. Exactly. Much more. In, in near my home in Moscow, I have a big system of trams that's separated and uh, uh, they go to a big neighborhood far from, uh, from, from the metro station, another one. And it's, it's a good network of separated uh, tram, but it goes very, very slow because of the turnstiles that I already said, and because of uh, uh, a lot of signals and uh, signals interaction with cars. Right. And it goes much slower than a car and even than a pedestrian. Oh, <laughs> that's unbelievable. But it's and it's separated. It's it's separated. But that's incompetent. In, that, that's just you see, what we. What we have done in many of our cities, and that was started in Germany, that traffic engineers and police and transit are different agencies, and they don't coordinate anything. Mm -hmm. So the tramway, for example, has to stop at every intersection, pedestrian uh, access is not good, uh, parking is not enforced, uh, people, uh, cars block the tracks, and so on. We found, we organized, so-called transit first uh, committee and the transit first committee gets representatives from all these organizations mm -hmm. and they start talking how do we speed up this tramway and of course that can be done for buses also but tramway if you coordinate it can become uh, uh, near metro mm -hmm. at a much lower cost than metro now interestingly it seemed that light rail came up as a new mode virtually, mm -hmm. uh, much better than tramway. And tramway really in mixed traffic, we cannot, we cannot stand that in modern traffic, it's congested. Now, at once, some cities said, no, we really want also that tramway in the street mm -hmm. because it is more people oriented and in, especially in uh, central business district where we have many stores, many offices and so on, and people travel uh, sometimes short distances, uh, they want to have frequent shuttle in that, uh, in that uh, mm -hmm. main road, we began to build really tramway again. Mm -hmm. It's not light rail, it's mm -hmm. not separate, it's not 70 kilometers per hour, mm -hmm. it's only 30 kilometers per hour, 40 but it serves high density area and I, can, I could give you a list of cities in the United States which is now 25 or 30 cities 
which are now have built or are building tramway. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because it gives the character to the main street and gives this uh, uh, kind of uh, personality to the city mm -hmm. and preserves its uh, its uh, convenience and people orientation that was there in 1920s and 40s and 60s. Yeah, I've been in the United Kingdom, I've been in like maybe 10 cities and I remember only London of course and Nottingham because it has very good tram. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So it's a, other the whole transit system yeah. gets different uh, different image mm -hmm. when you have trams. When mm -hmm. rail systems are very popular, mm -hmm. I should just mention also that Moscow has a huge trolleybus network. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, trolleybuses have also lost their ground in many countries, mainly because the trolleybus is more expensive when you buy it. Mm -hmm. It lasts twice as long as the bus, mm -hmm. but still, if you don't have enough money, you buy a cheaper bus, mm -hmm. which is less environmentally uh, uh, friendly. It, it is diesel. It's noisy. It's still, you know, we have cleaner and cleaner buses, but still, many of them are quite noisy. Uh, the riding comfort in trolley bus is much better, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Sometimes there is criticism of the wires. Mm -hmm. Well, some aesthetic in some places you have to be careful how much you put. On the other hand, the wires give more uh, image. People know that there is a transit sure, here yeah. going on. Mm -hmm. So I would strongly also encourage not to replace trolley buses by, by buses. Mm -hmm. uh, and then for short period, short distances, if you need a short tunnel, Trolley bus can do it easily. Mm -hmm. Bus cannot mm -hmm. because of exhaust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay.